Today I am reacting to the rising of the shield hero episode 8 and 9. Okay, so real quick about the last episode with Philo and Raftilia. It's just so funny how Raftilia is so jealous, but I feel like it's more of because Philo is a child. Obviously, like I said, you know, Nefumi giving her all of the attention like she got when she was a kid and she really liked just how he helped her out in a bad situation. So that could be it or, you know, it's just another girl in Nafumi's life, which it is a little weird because Philo is so small and so little that I'm like, yeah, I would see like no competition with that. But you do you, girl. You do you. <laughs> I really liked the last episode. Again, like I said, the more we can stay away from the kingdom and all of the horrible people that are there. I love that. And just the hot springs and everything. It was cute and it was fun. It was a little silly, but we got some moments between Raftilia and Philo. So I did appreciate that. And I'm really excited to find out what's going to happen in today's episodes. But before I get started with this reaction, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my patrons, King of the Pirates and Above Tier. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, not only on Patreon, but also on YouTube when you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It truly means the world to me. Again, a huge thank you to you guys. You guys are amazing. Sparkles! So, time to get into this reaction. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and also turn on the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload new content on my channel. So, let's begin. Let's continue on this Rising of the Shield Hero adventure and just watch Nofumi become this really amazing guy. Hoping that Nofumi can show everyone just how amazing and awesome he is and he can beat everyone up, he can destroy them and be like, ha, huh, I did it. <laughs> So, but without further ado, let's go. Shield hero. Pew. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Gosh, he's so adorable. I just can't. He's hiding the little things. Aw. Love it. <laughs> okay, so I don't know when I can actually watch the opening. I'm still going to skip it just because I don't know if it has any spoilers in it, but I'll probably watch it at the end. Is it like haunted or something? Oh. Ooh. They got medicine. They're like, onward! <laughs> Everyone be like, the heavenly fowl! <laughs> wow, that's a lot of sick people. It's made miraculously, like, pop up. <laughs> Dang, just imagine if he didn't even come by, like... All of those people could have died. Okay, so they're not completely healed. So maybe take out the swords? Wow! So all of these. Oh my gosh, that'd be so frustrating. <gasps> these travelers. Well, I guess that's how these things start, so. Of course they are. They're probably not even helping people. Look at all of the work he does for people, though. Like, compared to the ones that are too busy to do anything. Ooh, I do understand. It does seem a little like, okay, he's a hero. Why is he charging people? But he has to, like, travel and 
that's the only way he can really upgrade and get stronger anyway. So I do understand in that aspect. It does feel a little wrong though. <laughs> but... Is he gonna go over? Oh, okay. Or right through them. <laughs> the opposite. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ew. Oh, it's... Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it healed. Oh, that 3D though. Mm. <laughs> CG, I guess. But it's broad daylight. So what the heck? Most zombies don't really survive in the light, right? I'm thinking of vampires, not zombies. <laughs> Careful. Oh. <laughs> But if that thing's spreading around a plaque, like, you don't want to touch it. Uh-oh. Philo needs to, like, chill. <laughs> oh, gosh. Something bad's gonna happen. Okay, feels okay. Do you seek power? What? Uh, that's concerning. Curse series? Oh, uh, the heck? Didn't this happen when he was like in a dark? Oh, no. This does not seem good. No, no, no. Um. So what is going on with him? Oh. Oh. Whoa. So this like curse thing gives him more energy? So they have like what? Like options to choose like I want to be evil or good. Whoa, he's looking pretty evil. Oh. Whoa, okay. That is such a drastic turn. Why didn't he do this when like he was at the kingdom? Just kill them all. Oh. <laughs> Same mindset. Okay, they are horrible though. <laughs> this is kind of sexy though. Like it's evil side. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. My gosh, this guy can just like flip a switch like that. Oh, <gasps> she's sick. Uh oh. What if it doesn't work? <gasps> oh no! He's gonna lose it all here. <gasps> Philo! Philo coming back up! Philo coming back up! That was Philo, right? Sai girl, just stay down. Philo pop out. Ew! Yay! Oh my gosh! I just knew it. I'm like, there's no way Philo died. Oh! 
Okay, good. Go on, get Yo, okay. Wow. Way to fool them. Dude, he almost just, like, corrupted himself because he thought you died. I guess that's an effective way. Maybe the crystal can heal the people? Uh. Oh. Now they have to get holy water or something? Oh gosh. On the adventure to get some holy water. <laughs> I was like, what happened? Uh, just imagine, with Philo being in there, he could have. Oh. 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 Such a good bond. Oh. His smile is so precious. I love it. Every time he does it. They never saw him smile? Wow, she's making moves. Oh. <laughs> that totally went wrong. <laughs> Just imagine all three of them fitting on that little bed. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was close. What was just happening there was kind of like a wake-up call, to be honest. I think what was important in that episode was the fact that I was wondering, too, how long they would keep fighting, destroying their enemies with ease, because Philo and Raftelia are very strong. Especially Philo, like, oh my gosh, Philo coming in there, kicking the dragon's butt. But also, to proceed with caution moving forward, he could have lost everyone that he loved in one fight against the dragon, because, you know... At first, they took on the challenge. They're like, yeah, we do dangerous stuff all the time. But, I mean, now Fumi unlocking this, like, curse. It was weird. It was an entire new settings, which I think we started to see a little bit of it. It was episode four, I think, when everyone was turning and he thought he was going to lose Reptilia. But then it turned out that, you know, she wanted to be with him. Her being there is really what helps, like, stop that from happening like will he become the villain of the series is what i'm trying to think because whoa he just like went full-on kill mode like he was ready to go and just imagine if you get that much into whatever settings that were appearing that like that could have been so bad and man him like just unlocking that evil side was something else for sure kind of liked it but i do enjoy nafumi for who he is and he's such a sweet dude that was a lot and again reptilia still trying to you know get closer to nafumi but it might just never happen it would be weird like i still think about him like when he first got her she was a kid i mean she's not anymore but i don't know it's just weird so good that he's not just like all over that because that would kind of push me back a little bit i do think it's funny though how reptilia is trying so hard but like who couldn't resist Nafumi? He's amazing. I do feel like, however, that this will probably happen again, especially if he runs into the other heroes, because that's what kind of, I guess, awakened it the first time, but we're gonna have to see. I feel like something else bad is gonna happen. Let's be real. It's not gonna all go smooth sailing from here. He's bound to, like, get into another scandal or, or be blamed for something again, so it's only a matter of time. But time to see what's gonna happen in the next episode. So let's go. <laughs> She's fighting. Still like bandaged up and everything. Like what? Oh. Girl, you need to just 
take a day off. <laughs> Lots of birds. Oh my gosh, look at all the birds. Oh, <laughs> they're like, quack. <gasps> oh, they're not hers? Okay. Another child. Uh oh. Okay, if she for some reason joins the team, I don't know how I feel about this. Like, what the heck's going on? Okay, Philo. Okay, chill there. Oh, Philo fangirl? <laughs> Tried me. Aww. Again, Philo is so cute in the little, like, pudgy form. <laughs> well, she was just around a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Watch her steal it, though. <laughs> oh. Philo's just making this girl's life here. <laughs> Gosh, she's such like a dad. <laughs> Watch her try to make a move now. <laughs> oh, Philo's here, so probably not. <laughs> <laughs> good for her. <laughs> He's like, good, you know. Was like barely paying attention. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> that could be a thing. Yeah, that's the other thing too. It's like his reputation is kind of ruining this, you know? What if this is a setup? I don't know. Anything that has to do with kingdom, nobles, like, I just don't trust. I can't see this going well. I just can't. Oh! It's that spy chick again. I just love how she's just so happy. Every cutaway to Raftelia being sick, though. It's gonna be so sad when she leaves, though. I mean, Phila's getting along with her. <laughs> Aww. <gasps> um, that's concerning. Maybe she went to take a bath? Why is she naked? They think Philo ate her out of her clothes, though? No way. Wait, what? There's no way. <laughs> My gosh! Oh! She's sleeping naked in your feathers? That's weird. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> How does that even work? Oh! <laughs> but it's like their hand goes so far, like in somehow <laughs> I hope nothing bad happens I don't trust anyone at all <laughs> is there a reason every rooftop's a different color oh that's why so sad so much disrespect at the end they should make a giant statue for him because this is just 
Okay, he seems forgiving. Wow, what if they steal it and don't- Okay, good. <laughs> I just always think the worst of people in this show, because- <laughs> Were they trying to trick him? Mm. Wow, okay. Please don't scam him. Okay, I feel like <laughs> oh. He's leaving <laughs> Are they gonna keep running from this dude? He seems like he needs help <laughs> He's like, I need help. He thinks he's being chased to like be captured or something. Oh! Ah, this guy! <laughs> oh my gosh. Get over it, dude. The heck? Oh my gosh, you are creepy. <laughs> She's a, like a little girl. Oh, this guy's gross. <laughs> he must be into lollies. <laughs> what the heck was that? So he wants to like marry the other one that he thinks is a different thing, but Philo is the same thing. Just imagine if he sees Philo and Philo transforms right in front of him. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Holy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she is back. Ugh. No. Sister? Oh my gosh. So, um. Yeah, look at all of that. You're so stupid. Okay. I'm assuming that woman we saw earlier is their mother. For sure now. Oh, please transform. Please transform right in front of him. Come on. Poof. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yes! Oh, that's so great. Oh! <laughs> it knocked the like shield plates off. Yeah, those things aren't working anymore. <laughs> Well deserved. Dude, don't even defend the guy. Oh my gosh, he's like, why? Why all the kids? He's like, Whoa. The fact that they just ran into royalty like that is insane. <laughs> what was she gonna say? Uh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. 
As harsh as it was, what Nafumi said to Melty, I don't blame him because everything that has gone wrong <laughs> since he's entered this world was because of the royal kingdom tearing up his life. So even though that sounded really rude and he's like, okay, I don't have to hear anything you say, like get out of here. It's a little bit justified, you know, I don't blame him. I do feel bad for her because she didn't do anything wrong and I really do feel like her heart is in a good place. But you know, trust isn't something you just give to someone. They have to earn it because, you know, you can't really trust everyone in the world. And going off of all of the traumatic events that Nofumi had to deal with, rightfully justified. So that was really interesting. I did not expect her to be on that level of noble. So that woman we did see was their mother, I guess, the one with like, I think it was like a magenta hair color, but mine is so unlikable. It's funny how Melty actually, I think she likes the shield hero compared to mine, who is like so against it. Why do I feel like he's a part of some big prophecy though? Because we have the spies following him around, that one chick that keeps showing up, and I feel like they know something up with him and maybe they want to keep him away because of who's next in the royal line, maybe? I don't know, I feel like there's some weird prophecy going on with the shield hero. Why does the king, why are they trying to make him look like such a bad dude? Just for their own entertainment maybe? Or it could be something a lot deeper. I don't know, but that kick, oh my gosh, the spear hero, I hate him so much. He's so annoying. Thank goodness he got kicked in the junk again by Philo was waiting for that moment for Philo to transform right in front of him because he's like, oh, I love the little girl. It's like, dude, you are creepy. That was so creepy. The look on his face though when Philo transformed was like, yes, that was great. That was so great. I love that they keep like messing with him because he deserves it. He definitely does. But there you guys go. That was my reaction to Shield Hero. If you like this video, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more awesome Shield Hero content and other anime things. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay fresh, bye.